Hello internet, internet. Big Dave here, and I am Chief. What do you get when Valve and Intel team up to give independent game developers and game design students the opportunity to win thousands of dollars in prize money? A chance to have their game demos featured on Steam? And the opportunity to have those demos turned into real live retail games? You get Level Up 2011. The observant among you will have noticed that a few days ago the Level Up 2011 banner was added to Steam along with a crap ton of new demos. Now if you were wondering what the hell that was and you went and googled it, what you would have learned is that Level Up is a television show which features teenagers who've accidentally let MMO fantasy monsters into the real world and they have to defeat them in zany and madcap ways. And then after you correctly affixed 2011 to your search term, you would have learned, as I said, this is a contest sponsored by Valve and Intel to get up-and-coming game demos featured on Steam. Even the Level Up website doesn't have much information apart from what the contest is and how to enter. Despite the contest being over, it doesn't even have a winner's list, or it didn't as of a couple of days ago. Now, if this was anybody but Intel and Valve, I would probably say this was a shady attempt to steal your intellectual property, but it seems to be on the up and up. So what better way to celebrate the fact that this probably isn't a scam than to play the games themselves. There are 10 demos in total, and I will be reviving my show Try It to attempt to play as many as I can. I'm not going to get to all 10. I hope to get to 3 or 4. Four. We're going to start things out today with a short look at an interesting driving game called Thunder Wheels. So without any further ado, let's get into our first game, Thunder Wheels. This game is a classically styled arcade racer, and when I say that, what I mean is, think of games like Championship Sprint, or better yet, Ivan, Iron Man, Stewart, Super Off-Road. Yeah, those are the games that I'm talking about, those overhead perspective race games that came out in the mid-80s. I sunk a lot of quarters into those as a kid. The stand-up arcade machines that had a little steering wheel. Oh, man, that was so much time and money wasted in my youth on those machines. And this game really goes for that same aesthetic. I will say one thing that is immediately obvious as you start to get into this demo. Uh, the menus are odd. Uh, I might use the word janky to describe them. They're just a little bit strange. They look like they were made by a robot. Uh, they don't look like they were made by someone who intended them to be intuitive, easy to use, and easy to understand. Uh, for instance, this system here. Uh, I think I use something like this when I am setting up my draft order on my fantasy football team. Uh, this is just weird. You can move people up and down from your available driver's list to your in-race driver's list. It's just not that intuitive. Uh, menus should be not noticed. The fact that I'm calling this out basically means that it's failing at its job. I'm noticing the negative points of this menu, and that means that I'm having problems with this menu. Uh, so one thing you can do is you can edit your uh, car, you can edit your uh, some of your specifics here, and uh, I'm gonna change, let's pick a different car. What do we like, what do we like? Whoa. Okay. Little Gus. Oh, look at him. He's so cute. All right, we're going with Little Gus for sure. Any alternates on Little Gus? Oh, yeah, we got a bunch of different. Black roof. Blue. Green. Well, let's go for red. Red Little Gus. And here we go. And again, another one of these odd sort of menu systems. Uh, we are racing a, uh, a five-track season, three laps. So let's go ahead and get into it. I will warn you, I am absolute ass at this game. I am horrible at this game. And you will quickly see a demonstration of that 
Uh, the cars handle very loosely, I guess. Uh, they are... It is very difficult to not spin out. Uh, you really have to pull back on the... Oh, good lord. That, that guy crushed me. Uh, you really have to pull back on the throttle when you turn. Uh, that is something that, that you will quickly realize as you're playing the game. Um, you do tend to start to just spin out, take out all those cones. Uh, you do really start to spin out if you try to turn while accelerating. And that's even if you try to make a minor correction uh, while accelerating. So pretty much figure out your turn. Ooh, not yet. Figure out your turn, uh, how to turn. That's the key. Uh, I still have not figured that out. But uh, that's the key to getting good at this game, is uh, figuring out the, the, uh, the finesse. Let me use that word. The finesse of the control system. And uh, you will get uh, better results as you go. Coming in sixth place out of six. Lovely. So we'll try to do a little bit better this time. Let's see if we can. I don't think we can. Oh, cut the inside there. I'm in first for a moment. Yes, there is a first for everything, and me being in first is a first. And I'm immediately all over the road and in danger of quickly losing my position. Oh, I must, I must maintain. I want a top five finish. I want a top five out of six. I want to come in next to last place, not last place. How about that? That would make me happy. Oh, I got tipped from behind. Uh, you know, the physics, the way the cars interact with one another when they hit, uh, I don't want to say it's realistic, but it's certainly... Oh, we got a couple of guys out. Here's a great chance for me to, to actually do well. Uh, it's... Um, it's there, there is a, an attempt at physics and the laws of gravity and whatnot. So it's, it's interesting the way that they handle it. Uh, I don't necessarily know that, that as I said, it is realistic, uh, but... It's certainly, oh yes, fifth out of six. It's certainly reminiscent of, especially Super Off-Road. Uh, really reminiscent of Super Off-Road. And uh, the cars are slippy, they're slidey, you know, these are dirt tracks. And uh, it feels like that. Uh, I, I can't say that I'm having fun, uh, necessarily, but there's a certain amount of enjoyment to the process of figuring out the control scheme. Uh, is, is this a game I want to see actually go into a full version? Well, maybe if it was some sort of a Flash game, maybe if they could figure out some sort of online playability. Uh, there was a multiplayer option. I believe that is local only, uh, as far as I can tell. Oh, man, we cut in that corner, dude. You're a big monster truck, thinking you're a badass. I mean... You are, compared to my little dinky jeep, but still, dude, a little respect here. So let's try to finish this up with a little bit of honor. I have no idea what place I'm in. Pretty sure I'm in last place. Just getting worse. Oh, no, I was in fifth. Oh, I'm I'm quickly going up the ranks, so it's two fifth-place finishes. So the controls on this game are... Um, the up arrow to accelerate and the left and right keys to turn left and right and the left and right is always uh, it's always the same so no matter how your car wow no matter how your car is oriented uh, pressing left will always turn your wheels left and pressing right will always turn your wheels right so uh, it does take a little bit of getting used to I would say as you start to get around the track you will sometimes get confused uh, sometimes you'll just get confused and you won't even be accelerating, uh, as I often do in this game. Uh, you know, again, this is a simple game. We'll play out the last couple of races of the season here. And, oh, a pile up. Steal a couple of places. There we go. And uh, you really, you do start to get a feel for the cars and, and how, they, how they move. And, and you can do okay at this game. I mean, this game is not impossible. Uh, it's it's not super difficult. Uh, but it's... Oh, I came in first! See? There you go. Evidence. It's not super difficult because I just came in first in this damn race. And why do I still start at the back? I came in first. 
This is some sort of a Jeep racism, isn't it? It's Jeep bigotry. All of, I notice off the starting line, all of us little Jeeps were all lined up together. I see. I see how it is. I understand in the world of Thunder Wheels that there is, in fact, Jeep racism. Okay, let's try and concentrate. Oh, I like the convenient arrow there. But like, in case you're confused, go this way. Man, I'm all over the road this time. Uh, still, I'm not in last place. That is a positive. And, and I do think the further you go with this game, uh, the more you would sort of start to learn uh, the eccentricities of the control and, and the finesse of, of how to get this little Jeep to go to go where you want. Like, for instance, I'm just going to cause a pileup. Screw you guys, I am causing a pileup. Freaking Panzer. Screwing me over. I was actually doing okay. That damn German. <sighs> Germans. Ooh, take that. I got him a little bump in the back there. Germans. If you are a German, I don't have anything against you. I have I have something against German vehicles, and uh, Jeeps in particular, uh, but not, uh, not you general Germans. I, I like you guys. You guys are all right in my book. You guys have, have uh, gone 50 years without trying to take over the world, or almost... If almost 50 years. So yay, Germany! Uh, as you can see, I came in a tie for 6th place. Oh yeah. Love it. I absolutely love it. My mediocrity is beyond words. Alright guys, this has been Thunder Wheels. This is all that there is to the demo. We'll take a quick look at multiplayer. Oh, there is an internet matchmaking. Oh my lord. Oh, but the server's offline. Okay, well, there does seem to be some issues with the internet matchmaking, uh, but you can do local. That's cool. So, uh, yeah, I mean, that's a little bit of promise. If this game does have an internet matchmaking mode, you could definitely get some fun old school championship sprint style matches going on. A bunch of people all zooming around a figure eight track trying to bump into one another. This game has potential. While I can't say that I've necessarily enjoyed my time with Thunder Wheels, give it a spin. It's a free demo. I definitely think you should check it out. All right, I have been Big Dave. This has been Thunder Wheels on Try It. And until next time, take it easy.